good morning it's thursday we didn't vlog yesterday we just had a day off <sighs> we just uh, we needed it um i don't know what's going on my hair it's a bit windswept tyler went on his trip yesterday i didn't sleep i just no i don't like it i mean like i know he's okay i know he's fine but I don't like it. I do not like it. The fact he's gone. Like last night was so weird. Like I keep saying like because I'm tired. Um, when he's at my mum's or Chris's mum's or when he's out, I, he has his phone so I have a way to communicate. I don't with this. But we should get some new photos on the school page soon. Um, it's got me quarter to nine. Just took JJ to school. We've got a mould and something inspection, mould and damp inspection as a routine check. We've been here eight years and never had one, but who knows? He's coming, I think it was at half, half nine. So I've just been like tidying a little bit, but I also, I don't care what the house looks like. It's not a mess. He just needs, you know it's a house we still need to paint in here it's kind of muggy today uh, we still need to paint in here by the front door and the black wall oh i've gone dark um i'm gonna sit down oh yeah so today's just a catch up of everything i don't know i, th I think it's half nine the man said he was coming I'm kind of hoping it's just a quick in and out. But yeah, also day three of having no shakes, which I'm kind of happy with. Um, I have the pain that I have when I have the shakes, but I don't have the shakes. So I'm guessing it is a B12 deficiency. Um, I've been taking my tablets now. It'll be my third time taking them. And already I feel a difference with it. But I've got a pill organiser coming today. Because I, at the moment I'm taking a lot of tablets. But. Yeah I thought I'd vlog a little bit this morning. Before the man comes. Chris is just upstairs. I think we only have a little bit in the bathroom. And by the front door. But it's stuff that you can just wipe away. It's not. I don't know. I don't know what he'll do. But. I might have some breakfast and then I can have my tablets. But I don't know what I want for breakfast, that's the thing. I feel like it's too warm to have porridge. I don't know. But once the man's been, I will let you know what's going on and I'll keep you updated. Did someone do a silly? I will. I ain't getting blamed for nothing. Did I blame you? No. Exactly. But you insinuated I did no, a silly. No, I didn't. I just said, did someone do a silly? Yeah, the Australian people did a silly. <sighs> yeah, we got told half nine on Thursday. It's currently... Five past eleven. Five past eleven. No, man. So I've got a feeling it's next Thursday. Where they've got to be here because we've got the boys sports days. Yeah. See, if that was me, I'd have been like, right, I'll book you in. Gave us a date. Confirmation. For Thursday the 4th or whatever it is. I think it's the 4th. Is it really the 4th? Yeah, because it's the 1st on Monday. Oh, it is. Yeah, so um, we've wasted the morning just sitting waiting for him. We didn't want to do anything in case he come and we were like in the middle of doing something, so... Absolutely. And I said, if he comes down, I'm hiding and you can rebook. <laughs> It's a train world simulator. Cool. You love simulator games. You do. You do. You do. Says the lady who played bus simulator on the phone or truck simulator, whatever it was. There's something to do. You loved it. You were a simulator lady. So, we have a free day. And we need to vlog today because we didn't vlog yesterday. We've had little updates about Tyler. 
Uh, there's one photo. He looks so happy. So that's made me feel a little bit happy. Um, I've got a pill organiser coming today. I think I said that this morning. I can't remember. And I don't know what else we're going to do today. Oh, I booked in with the Senko Monday. <sighs> Yeah, it's just like a meet the nurses. We are stuck with what to do today. Yeah. Because we kind of like, we didn't know if he was going to do any work or anything. If there was mould, which I think we have a little bit by the front door. Which I think is like a given because where the shoes are, it gets warm in there, it gets cold in there. Um, and we have a little bit in the bathroom, which again... When people don't turn on the extractor fan when they shower, um, don't look at me. You're the only person. Even the kids do it. Don't know what you're about. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like mold. Mold. It's just stuff you can wipe away. But I don't get why when we had the house inspection, why they didn't say. <laughs> do you have mold here or no? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like if we had mould, we'd say we've got mould. It's not one of those things that you can just live with. So I don't... But they said it's like a, a routine check. Again, we've been here eight years and we've never had one. It's because of all those people in rented council houses that have died because of the black mould that have been in them. Yeah, but that's people who have reported it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's... But yeah, my house is always ventilated. Private estate agents are leaving by example, whatever. I don't know. But it's like 10 past 11. I don't know what to do. We had nothing planned for today. This is our problem. When we plan something, like we had the idea of, well, yesterday anyway, that person was coming today, so we were like, right. We didn't have anything planned anyway. And it was a case of, well, that was going to fill that gap. I swear to God, if that's him. I'm hiding. I'm, I'm seriously hiding. What are you looking at? See if it's him. I doubt it. There's no one there. Well, just... It's like, yeah, in a way, like, we cleared the morning because I didn't know if he'd... How long we're going to be anything? Yeah, because it might just be a check, or it could be. Oh yeah, we can fix that now. Yeah. So we made no plans this morning, and mainly we made no plans because Tyler's not here, and I know he would have been at school anyway. But it's like we try not to make plans just in case he needs us. I don't think he will because that photo. I wish I could show you, but obviously it's got other kids in, and I'm not. I'm not one of those parents that blow the kids out. I could do, but but he looks so happy. And I just hope he's having a good time. Time? I hope he's having a good time. But, I don't know. I don't know what to do now. I've got a plan. I can't even, like, tidy or anything because I did it all yesterday. Yeah. What's your plan? Uh, but it's not for today. Oh, okay. What's the plan? Uh, I think I'm going to smoke a joint next week. What's your plan? I'm going to smoke a joint next week. Smoke a joint next week? A joint week. of pork. Oh, for <laughs> you can't, it's raining all week. No, it's not raining. Don't make it rain. I want to make barbecue. I mean, you could still do it. It's not going to affect it. Yeah, well, I don't want it to rain. Just give the umbrella a bob at the back door. Just... <laughs> Smell nice. I started playing Elden Ring. Yeah, he started playing Elden Ring yesterday. Too difficult, man. I like it. I, lo I love watching him play games. He needs to carry on playing it. I do, but I've also got the, like an itching to play COD as well. I always have an itching to play COD. It's in my veins. I don't know what to do. I honestly I got, like, I've done all my washing yesterday. I could. Is it still there? The, the basket? Yeah. I took it up. I could probably put the washing away. The bedrooms are tidy. I took it up thinking the bloke was coming. Yeah, because we try to keep our house looking as normal as possible. Like, I don't make it pristine, because what's the point? Like, a house is meant to be lived in. It's not a show home. Um, but, like, I don't know what to do.
I don't know what to do. I thought we need to go anywhere we're doing. Did anything. you get the bacon out for the burgers? <sighs> yeah, we've got burgers tonight with Jingle. Tyler comes back. I think they said they'll be aiming for two. But I've got like a, it's like a send morning. Uh, afternoon, sorry. Where you go meet all the nursing staff and that, which is like to do with the send. Um, at half two. So I'll be up the school anyway. My mum's going to come with me because she's a bit more... I think I've explained my little brother's got ADHD and autism and he's got an EHCP and stuff like that. Yeah? Did we buy burgers? Or did we get the ones out of the freezer? Get the ones out of the freezer. Yeah. So I wanted to know this. <laughs> um, so she's had to deal with that since my little brother was little and she knows what she's doing where... Like, we have like a... a little background, but nothing in a way, like, compared to my mum. Yeah, because your mum's been and spoke to the people. Like She's been through it all. You've grown up viewing that. Yeah. I did college and work experience in that area. So it's very But, like, having to go through the process now, like, Ben was in nursery when he, like, the nursery staff was like, yeah, you need to go and get him tested. And it wasn't until he was 13 he actually got his diagnosis because all the doctors was, well, I think my mum went through four doctors, um, and the school was going, no, you need to go. But obviously from our side, we're in a different, is it district? Mm -hmm. It's it's worse. Like, I've been trying to get help since nursery for Tyler, and now I'm trying to get it for both of the boys. So my mum's like, my backup almost, to be like, uh, this kind of thing, yes, this happens. and But yeah, so... It, it, it's, it's one of those as well, look, yeah, Tyler needs it. But it, I'd say it's slowly turning into JJ's needing it more. Yeah, well, JJ's like, it's hard to explain. He He's, like, Tyler's understanding how he is. So he understand, like, and he's starting to be like, right, this, I can't do this and I don't like it. I feel overwhelmed. I, help yeah, me. Yeah. Whereas JJ... But with his, it's just all over his the His dyslexia place, right? is his speech as well. So he struggles to tell us. And then he gets frustrated. Yeah. And that's when he has his meltdown. So it's like how I can, or even we'll use Tyler, for example. He can go, mommy, I'm overwhelmed. I don't like this. Help me. JJ will just go, and then, and then have a meltdown. He can't understand, like you can't understand him. And he can't understand why you can't understand. Yeah. And obviously he's eight. So trying to... He's still learning the world, where mm. Tyler's obviously growing up, understanding. Mm. But I feel like I feel like the school, they say he's okay. Don't know. They say like he's at the level he should be, but I, I don't feel like he is. Which one? JJ. Obviously Tyler's. Like, oh no, they've said he's under. He's definitely under. Yeah. But I don't feel like they're pushing it. But I think it's hard. <laughs> but that's why we're gonna have this meeting. Um... Because Tyler will get better help in high school. Yeah. Because they'll treat him more like an adult. He enjoys being treated like an adult. He likes having his say, doesn't he? And you know? it will, it, he, he will just blossom. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, he will. JJ, on the other hand, I feel like... But once he gets his... We need a firm grip on him now. Yeah. As soon <laughs> as he gets his, his dyslexia diagnosis, they he will definitely have an EHCP which then will follow him, which I'm okay with because I know it's going to get that, but trying to get one for Tyler, and I hate saying this, and this is, I'm literally quoting what the teachers at, well, the old high school, uh, high school, the old head teacher of the primary school said to me, he's not severely autistic enough to get an EHCP. And I, it just made me like... Like, you could just... How can you, like, I want to word it, and it's going to... My son's important too. Yeah. Don't don't just Just because he's not as severe as certain people doesn't mean he require mm -hmm. like he he deserves less. I don't it's hard to because I don't want to say anything like word anything bad to the people who are severe but my son needs it as well, well and the, obviously the, speaking the, as the problem is the school was being ran like a business. Yeah. And it was unless you are in a wheelchair, we don't care. Yeah. That is how they were putting it. 
Yeah. And I'm Unless sorry, you're but... severe enough, we can't help you. D you. You've got physical disabilities, yes. Uh, like, loads of people have them. But there's also mental disabilities that they're just brushing to the one side. Well, unique you needs, as the high school calls it. Which is a nice way of putting it. Yeah. And it's nice I do that like the fact that. that they've... He's not even in high school yet, yet we're already talking about it. Yeah. But now I've got that appointment with the Senko. I can sort JJ, I can sort Tyler. I can get an appointment at the high school Senko to so do some sort of like care plan for when he starts. Because like I said, that morning he fin he was there at half eight, half eight, half nine till twelve. So yeah, he was done. what two and a half? Was it two and a half hours? Yeah. Two and a half hours, and he was done. He he couldn't do no more. He, we come home and we heard nothing out of him. Yeah, he he come out eat, eight. <laughs> he, he didn't even do like his normal messing about. No. Nothing. He just he just it was quiet. Yeah. And that's that's what he does. He, like I was saying, like he locks himself away, but not locks himself away. Like if he, he puts himself in his own little world, just so he can just be like, right, I'm up here. I'm safe Let's now. Just level myself down a bit. Yeah, like we don't care what he does to his room. Like he's put stuff on the wall, and uh, he's got little decorations and stuff because that's his room. He places it how he wants it. We mm. don't go in there. We don't even tidy his room because that's his safe space. But again, you could walk into that room and. It it just screams. It's his comfort. Like I've had some. Yeah. I made remade his bed because he likes all his pillars in the corner. But obviously, the normal way of making a bed is the two pillars at the top and the bed made. No, he has all of his blankets. He still wraps like with this heat. He still wraps up in his dressing gown. Wraps up in his duvet. Um, he has to have his a. Uh, he has is it objects permanent mm -hmm. so everything has to be out if it's in the drawer he forgets about it and then he'll rediscover it and then he'll be obsessed with it um be like somebody else we all we all know don't know what you're on about um but now i just he's trying to get the help for your kids and i was saying this and i can't remember who left that lovely comment did you read it uh the one from that that one yeah he <laughs> just made me like you know it's hard because you think they are the professionals. No, you are the professional as their mum keep fighting. Like, I, I had to go upstairs and I had a little cry because it, it does make you so frustrated as a parent that you can't give them the help. Like, I'm this close to homeschooling the kids if they don't get the help because I know, like, we can do that. Mm -hmm. We can give them the help and regulate them that they need. I've, I've told Tyler if high school gets too much in a way that I know that he can't deal with it, we will homeschool him. Because if that's the only way he's going to get a good education without being too overwhelmed and... It's, it's frustrating because, say out of a class of 30 kids, seven or eight of them have, what was the word? Unique needs. Unique needs. Well, just take that extra five minutes with them, sit them down in a ta at, a, at their own table and be like, right, how do you understand this? What is it of this you are struggling to understand? But that's why we do that care plan. Yeah. That's why I want to go there because then. But it should be just natural. In my a my own way. thing is, they have an alarm, don't they, for when the school day, like the times, is it an alarm? You know, like when it's like end of class, end of break, end of day. We used to have a bell. Yeah, they they have. If the it's an alarm, day, Tyler can't have that because he will have a meltdown. He didn't like the fire alarm. No. But so, well, where was we the other day? In Canuck, weren't we at the shop? Yeah. And there was an air raid siren going off outside. Mm. And he looked at me, panicked, and I looked at him and I went, the Germans are coming. <laughs> Just like that. And he wet himself laughing. Yeah. <laughs> it's something that, like, because we're his comfort, and, like, obviously he's, our parents are as well, it's he's okay with us mm. if there's a loud noise here he instantly it's like mum and dad or nan and granddad nonna and granddad I'm a bit sorry, you're but out, yeah that's what's worrying me about him being away but i'm hoping it gives him that edge of i'm okay like i don't need my comfort people yeah. to be okay in the world you, you've got to insert them core memories haven't you like me joking about that air raid siren maybe next time he hears it he might panic and then go Oh, I remember when Daddy said yeah. that, that the Germans was coming. And it's he, not. It's not the best thing it. to say, but he'll but he'll he laugh. understands that. Yeah. He understands like his thing is history. His thing is the Nazis. And if you can relate things, 
Like for me, it was funny enough, we were talking about that, I went to go get my blood done and we went into Asda to go and get some chocolate. And we was talking about that because when I go to the dentist now, I go and get a sausage roll from Greg's because that's what he's implemented into me. That Positive reinforcement. Yeah. So obviously with Tyler, with me it's food, like I'm a foodie. With Tyler it's obviously history, so doing mm -hmm. something like that, if he hears a loud noise, he, again he might go, oh, I remember that. But and again, he will, will remember that. Like, you remember, was it about, was it the Among or the Electric Room or something like yeah, that? And the electrical, that does his head in, that does. But he, he laughs. <laughs> but it, it's like trying to see your child as with their unique needs and not just as your child. Because they need help. Like, the boys need help, but they're so different. And I've, I was saying to my mum this morning, I've been so focused on getting Tyler sorted for years. JJ's, JJ's needs yeah. have been pushed to the side and as horrible as that sounds, it's it's been hard because we've been trying to understand Tyler and now Tyler's understanding himself. JJ's the one with the meltdowns and it's... It, it's been hard, especially when JJ started, started nursery, broke his leg, COVID, and then he went back to school. Yeah. And it's a case of he had all that time away so he was behind anyway. Yeah. And then it's kind of like, well, we've just put it down to he's behind. He's going to be like this. He's going to struggle to understand and you understand big words. And because stuff he, because he was, he's behind. His talking was fine. Like he was doing like mama, dad, dad, drink, stuff like that. And then all of a sudden stopped. And then it was going back to school and then obviously broke it there. And he was just... But he's trying to focus, get them both done. Uh, my head hurts. Mm -hmm. My head hurts. and So much stressed. Like I said, I'll happily homeschool those two boys if it means they get the help that they need straight away. Mm -hmm. I'll happily d t turn the living room into a bloody classroom if I have to for them. The problem is with the kids that know the home is where the fun happens. Yeah, it's a safe place. So it would be and that's why a nightmare to homeschool them. The meltdowns and everything happen at home because it's, you know, it's like people be at work all day, come home and it's, you know, as a woman you take your bra off, man, trousers off kind of thing and you just sit and relax. With the boys, that's what it is. They shake up all day and then as soon as they come home that lid comes off. It's like, I'm safe now. And they let it all out and it's stressful. And chuck them back over the fence. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we, we was going to decorate Tyler's room. But then it's he's going to be so overwhelmed. He's going to come back to a different change. And I don't think that's the best idea to do. I'm too overwhelmed to do it. No. But I've been rambling for 20 minutes. But sometimes it feels good. Yeah, my good egg. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my hair. This bacon's terrible. Ow. Um, um, why is there food on the bottom of this pan? Oh. It's currently 10 to 5. Um, we're starting to, JJ's upstairs playing FIFA. I think he is. He said it was four now, so I presume. Haven't had nothing from Tyler. Well, the school. So I'm presuming that's good. Well, there were some photos earlier. I don't know if I mentioned, but he wasn't in them. Um, JJ's got pen all over his trousers. So I've got currently got those in the wash. But I will say, when we had the air fryer on the other day, the mic didn't pick it up. It worked his directional. Yeah. He picked you up with that. Was you doing the lettuce or something? Yeah. But it wasn't as loud. So we've got burgers, wedges, we're going to have bacon and hash browns. Or do you just want bacon and cheese? Do you want to just do bacon? Okay. Or do you want hash browns? No, it's not wedges, I want to have an egg though. If you want an egg, you can do an egg, I'm alright. But yeah, it's... Uh... One step beyond. I'm feeling a bit. I miss him too much. Well, that's 
Perfectly fine. Back to my work. <laughs> like I was saying to Chris, why can't we go there to go and pick her up? I wish there was that option because I'd take it because at least then he can sleep in the car. You know what I mean? And he'll sleep, he won't sleep in the car. He does when he he's really tired. When he's ill. Yeah, when he's really tired, which is normally when he's ill. That kid does not nap unless he's poorly. So if he naps, it's like, yeah, something's not right. But he's back tomorrow at two Apparently two. well they said that are leaving at one and it's literally just one straight road isn't it yeah L roughly one roughly straight, one straight um and i don't think there's no traffic traffic works traffic works good big strong man yeah big strong dudes <laughs> um there's no Road works. Road works. That's what I was uh, looking for. Probably will be. I've looked, there isn't any. Is there any at all? No. I mean they might put some up to our knowing me. <laughs> Closure between two of uh, twelve and two. <laughs> Great. I think they're leaving it. I need to put this camera on charge. They're leaving at one. one. So they should be back for two. Mm -hmm. Um and then I've got that same coffee thingy. Ooh. Tomorrow. I don't mind going out Saturday. Gives us something to do Saturday. I'll clean the car in the morning. Yeah. Reverse, I've got no, but I'm not doing no washing until I've got toilet stuff. Because I think I'm going to need to bloody anti back all that stuff, presuming. Yeah. I just want him back. I miss my tiger. Definitely 100% have separation anxiety with him. Really? It won't pick it up. <laughs> if it does, I'm keeping it farting. Um, but I need to put this camera on charge. So I'm going to charge it whilst we're cooking and then I'll show you tea. And I've got to edit this tonight. <laughs> I might edit it in the morning, give me something to do. Because I just get too distracted and I'm too much in my head at the moment with him. Like, if it was up to me, he'd never leave me again. <laughs> But he hasn't left me, he's gone, I know he's gone to go have fun, I know he's enjoyed his time. You know, like, it, it sounds really bad of me saying, like, he's never leaving me, obviously he's not mine, but you know what I'm trying to say. He's my eldest, he's my baby, but he can do what he wants, he can go again, but he can't go again. He's just a baby. He's just a baby. But I'm going to put this on charge because I don't, I don't know how it dies, I don't know if it just stops or it corrupts the file. Hello. But... I'll speak to you later.